I'm here with Emmanuel Delcourt at the opening of his new cafe in downtown LA, Ground Floor Cafe. Yeah, Ground Floor Cafe. Bonsoir, bienvenue, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> but your own place, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm uh, very excited, actually. Uh, that's my first uh, restaurant that I open. It's actually uh, a new concept that I came up with because uh, I love art. I, used, I am an artist and I used to be in graphic design, so art is very uh, important you know, to me and uh, very close to my heart. So it's so, part, part cafe and part gallery. Yes, exactly. So I designed this uh, French cafe in a pretty big art gallery, right? It's 4,000 square feet. Uh, we have beautiful uh, paintings, beautiful sculptures, and uh, beautiful photographies right now. And it's all for sale. It's all for sale, yes. And uh, yeah, I like that very. Uh, yeah. Well, my inspiration was, you know, uh, back in France, the usual thing that us French people we do is to basically grab, you know, good food, like a good. French pastry or good French baguette sandwich and just walk around the city and you know just enjoy the art in general. In France you know when you walk in the biggest French cities there's pretty much art all over the place. So the concept and the idea about the art gallery which is in downtown LA which is for me the center of the art in Los Angeles because that's really where you know the new artists are and the, you know the great art is in LA. Um, I wanted to be able to create a space where um, you can basically grab very good food and just walk around the, right, the gallery enjoying your food. So it's a really it's a new concept about enjoying uh, food. Instead of, uh, instead of just sitting at the table and eating your, you know, your, your food, you basically... It's a little different atmosphere than Starbucks. Yeah, exactly, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's a more loungy area, we play, you know, we have great DJs, great art, and it's a big space, so you can really uh, either, you know, sit and enjoy your sandwich or French pastry, or just, you know, kind of walk, wander around and, you know, just get inspired by the art while you're, you know, enjoying uh, your uh, French baguette sandwich. <laughs> now, did you paint any of this or create any of this art? Or? No, actually, I, uh, I didn't, but I'm thinking about uh, doing my own expo, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but maybe something, you know, I have a couple of uh, pieces that uh, I worked on during the years, and uh, I would be willing to uh, expose some uh, photography and the uh, painting, so maybe one day. But right now we have a, a, new, uh, um, a new exhibition, it's called uh, Art Deco, Glamour in Harmony. <laughs> so you're welcome to uh, come visit, of course, the exhibition and uh, you know, come to a uh, ground floor. Now what about the food? Are you, you came up with a menu, but you aren't actually cooking everything, are you? Well, no, actually, I did. I mean, I designed, well, first of all, I designed the kitchen, which is pretty cool because I was able to design my own kitchen in the, in the art gallery. So I designed this beautiful space that uh, is right here. Uh, and I made it, I wanted uh, to have a very modern feel to it. So I made it very industrial and modern looking. So I used a rusty metal and plexiglass in suspension to create this little, you know, cool little kitchen. And I designed the, the menu again based on. Um, on my experience in uh, Bordeaux, I used to live in Bordeaux in Paris, and we always, uh, you know, walk around the, uh, in the afternoon in the city, and we always grab, you know, the best French pastries and the best French sandwiches. And in my case, because you know, I work out a lot, <laughs> and I diet the best uh, French salads. So I, I, re I wanted to recreate. Uh, my inspiration was based on those, you know, uh, French dishes, which is a French baguette sandwich. So we picked up the best French baguette in LA. And uh, we took the, the, the best uh, French salads that French, uh, France has to offer, and I did my own twist on it. Like I did a tuna cranberry and toast and pecans uh, sandwich. I did a niçoise salad, and uh, we, for example, we used the, I used the pickled ginger in the tuna cranberry to make like almost like an Asian, you know, tangy twist to it. And uh, we have uh, the best macaroons in town, I think, you know, from the best uh, French pastry. She's amazing, she does the best uh the best uh, French pastries, and uh, we have the best banana pudding in the world. <laughs> oh my God! Mm, now you're talking. Yeah, and the best uh, flourless uh, chocolate cakes. Very moist, uh, just the chocolate flavors are just so well balanced, and uh, uh, as well as um, uh, the macarons. We have all vegan macarons, and they are so light and uh, and just perfect. They're perfectly crispy and light and beautiful. It's like the old jewels. I'm getting really hungry talking to you. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I've been taking pictures all night. That's the grown opening, so I was very busy. I'm starting to not not eating enough, but you yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I, I see my chefs like cooking, or I see my sous chefs, you know, and my chefs cooking over here, and it makes me hungry. So I'm gonna we, we, I'm I'm gonna feed you right after. Now.
your word. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started the interview. <laughs> now, what about MasterChef? What's going? Congratulations with that too. Thank you very much. I was uh, lucky enough to be invited as a guest on the MasterChef by Gordon Ramsay himself, which become a friend of mine. He uh, speaks uh, French, 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 because he used to uh, work in France. Um, so he invited me on the show uh, that we shot like uh, two months ago, and I was actually a judge to uh, judge the two teams, the blue team and the red team. So uh, they had to create uh, five uh, one-bite uh, uh, appetizers oh. with dessert as well. And uh, so I was judging them, and uh, it just aired uh, last Monday on Fox, uh, on MasterChef. W were they good? Well, there is... There's a couple of mistakes that for me shouldn't have happened, shouldn't have happened. Uh, but I, I wasn't in the kitchen. But now that I, I saw the show on Monday, I understood why it happened because you get the behind the scene of what happened in the kitchen. Oh. Like for example, um, I, um, I tried the dessert from the red team, which was made originally by uh, Esther Kang. She's an amazing pastry chef and she's uh, competing on MasterChef. And uh, unfortunately, uh, she was doing some uh, profiteroles, and uh, she uh, she couldn't uh, make her pâte à choux, uh, the choux, um, the choux paste, uh, the choux dough. She couldn't make it on the show, mm -hmm. so they ended up last minute doing like some chopped fruits with a bit of mint and whipped cream. She's so basic, and that kind of disappointed me because you know I was on Master Chef mm -hmm. with great chefs competing, so I was a little bit, you know, I wasn't expecting just chopped fruits, you know, with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar, whipped cream, and mint. But now that I saw the show, I understood that she was trying to, she did like three different batches of uh, profiterole doughs, and it didn't work. So, you know, they were aiming for something very big, you know, because there's 300 people to, uh, to feed and us judges. And she tried it, didn't work this time. But I know she's an amazing uh, baker, so. She got voted off the island, though? Yeah, actually, yeah, she got voted um, of MasterChef because, you know, because of that, obviously. But at least, you know, I admire her because she got the guts to aim for something that is very challenging because make, you know, that many uh, um, uh, profiteroles, like, you know, in a few hours, it's very challenging. You have to let the dough rise, cook it, and fill it with ice cream and everything. And, you know, she tried, it didn't work, but at least, you know, she tried her best, so, yeah. And she was here tonight, actually, a few hours ago, so. Oh, I, yeah. I guess most of them, a lot of them for MasterChef were here? Uh, we had Tracy from MasterChef and uh, we had uh, 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 as well Esther, so Esther. And uh, Joe, uh, the other judge, was supposed to come and he's uh, shooting MasterChef in Italy. Oh. So he sent us, he sent me uh, his best uh, regards, but he couldn't make it tonight. And uh, Gordon uh, was supposed to come too, but he was uh, busy tonight too, so yeah. Well, I look forward to checking out the food, so I guess enough talking about we eat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's well, eat. But, and, uh, but yeah, you can find all the infos, you know, the address, the contact on uh, EmmanuelDelcourt.com and uh, all the events I'm doing right now. And uh, I'm going to be actually a judge on uh, the chocolate event. That's oh, taking now, now you're talking. I love chocolate. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's taking place in the, next to Disney World oh, uh, oh. July 30th. And uh, we might have Johnny Depp coming because oh. that's the 50th birthday of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Wow. And I know he's supposed to come, so hopefully, you know, he'll be there. So I'm going to be on ju a judge on the competition. They have uh, five dishes to make with chocolate. I think they have an appetizer, a salad, <laughs> an entree and a dessert to make with chocolate. So I'm very excited, you know, and I look forward to, uh, to uh, see that. And I have to add, you know, I think it's pretty funny, but I just, uh, I still do acting, and I just uh, shot uh, the new movie of uh, uh, Julia Louise Dreyfus. She's the actress really? from Seinfeld, yeah. I mean, her new comedy, I'm playing the, she falls in love with uh, the French chef. Ah. That is uh, an acting, um, uh, sorry, a cooking, uh, I, I make cooking classes in France. And uh, the comedy is called Picture Paris. It's going to be released uh, in a few months. Was it actually filmed in Paris, or are you filming it here? Or? Half of it is shot in Paris. My scene was supposed to take place in Paris, but we shot it in a culinary school in LA. Mm. And uh, we have these whole scenes where you know uh, I'm teaching the whole class, and I'm, I'm getting very excited about the food, and I start to speak French, and I'm, I'm this very hyper chef. And uh, everybody's trying to follow if they can't. And the scene is very funny because uh, because I'm teaching her how to make homemade pâté 
And uh, there's a twist in the, in the movie where, because she learned how to make the pate from me, something happened about the pate. I cannot tell you why, <laughs> but that's the whole you know, twist of the movie. Mm. And the, the rest of it was shot in France. And uh, again, it's going to be released in a few months. And it's called Picture of Paris. Well, congratulations between the show, the movie, and the restaurant. Much, much success with everything. Yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very excited about all those things. And you know, it's, it's very... Uh, it's very complimentary for me, like, uh, you know, because I work uh, obviously on the restaurant, I'm still a private chef in, in Malibu. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of clients, I cook vegan for them. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting because, you know, all those things combined together, obviously keeps me very busy, but at the same time it's, uh, it inspires me in, you know, different fields. So, you know, it's, uh, I feel very lucky and, you know, and... Uh, well, congratulations, and I want to go check out your cooking now. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, it's <laughs> eat now. I'm going to feed you. <laughs>